Welcome Grade 7 students! Today is another fun and exciting day to learn more about technical drafting. I am Ms. Jebelan B. Santos, your TLE teacher from Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get updates on our latest videos. Together, let us master competencies while enjoying the comforts of our home. For today's lesson, we will focus on the different hand tools and equipment used in technical drafting with the following objectives. First, list hand tools and equipment based on the job requirements. Second, identify appropriate hand tools and equipment for proper use. And lastly, classify hand tools and equipment according to their function. Before we start our lesson, let us first play a game. Directions Choose the picture that shows the right set of tools used in the given specialization. Which set of hand tools is used in electronics? Is it A or B? Good job! It's letter A! Which set of hand tools is used in dressmaking? Very good! It's letter B! Which set of hand tools is used in carpentry? Great job! It's letter B! Which set of hand tools is used in cookery? Is it A or B? Very good! It's letter A! Which set of hand tools is used in automotive? Awesome! It's letter B! Great job, students! Now, what is a hand tool? A hand tool is an instrument or an equipment that you hold in your hands to do a specific task. For example, a computer technician uses screwdriver to assemble a computer, and a carpenter uses hammer to hit the nails into a piece of wood. The tools that we use in drafting could be categorized into two groups, the drawing tools and the measuring tools. Under the drawing tools are Drawing paper, a paper that is specially prepared to use in drafting. There are different varieties of drawing paper, but Oslo paper is commonly used and bond paper is also recommended. Masking tape is used for fastening the drawing on the drawing table or drawing board. It is preferable than the other types of tape because it doesn't damage the board and it will not damage the paper if it's removed by pulling it off. Pencil Sharpener Pencils should always be sharpened whenever they show sign of dullness. Various types and design of sharpeners are available in different stores. Eraser This is used to clean the dirt off the drawing. Did you know that there are different types of eraser? A soft eraser is advantageous in removing smudges and pencil marks, whereas a hard eraser is useful for making changes and correcting errors in the drawing. Drawing Pencil This is one of the most important tools in drawing. Pencils come in various grades. The grade of pencil depends on the quality of the paper to be used. Here are different types of drawing pencils and their uses. The first ones are hard pencils. These are used where extreme accuracy is required, especially working on graphs, diagrams, and charts. The next one are medium pencils. These are used for general purpose work in drawing. And lastly, soft pencils. These are too soft to be used in mechanical drafting, but are very useful for different kinds of artworks. The next hand tools will fall under measuring tools. These are the tools used to produce a quality and accurate drawing or design. Triangular scale, a tool generally used when producing a drawing in an enlarged or reduced for some regular proportions. Its main function is to reproduce the measurements of an object in full size, reduced size, and enlarged size. P squared, a drawing instrument used when making horizontal lines. It is also used for guiding triangles when drawing vertical lines. It is made up of wood, plastic, 
or the combination of both. There are different types of T-square. The fixed head. Its head is fastened to the date and is used for ordinary work. The movable head or adjustable head. It has one fixed and one adjustable head and used only for occasional growing. The detachable head or removable head. It is designed for easy transport. The blade could also be used separately as a straight edge ruler. Triangles. It is a three-sided ruler which typically has two equal sides meeting at 90 degrees angle and to a third side at 45, 30, including 60 degree angles. Commonly used triangles are 30 degrees by 60 degrees and 45 degrees by 45 degrees. Compacts. This drawing instrument is used when drawing arcs and circles. It is used in a similar way to a divider. It is composed of one with a pen leg and the needle point leg being held together with a handle. Divider. It is used when transferring measurements, dividing lines and arcs into the desired number of equal parts. It can easily transfer accurate measurements by adjusting the divider points. And protractor. A semicircular instrument divided into 180 equal parts, each of which is called degree. It is used to determine gradations of the degrees when measuring arcs, angles, and circles. Aside from the common hand tools, set of equipments are also used especially in performing much harder tasks. The first one is a drawing board. The drawing board is a large, flat board on which you attach a drawing sheet to make a drawing. A drawing board can be the surface of a drafting table or a separate board that is placed on the top of the desk or table. Computer Set Computer is used for computer-aided drafting or CAD. It means designing using the computer instead of the classical tools like pencil, ink, rulers, and papers to create drawings and to produce a more realistic design. The Drafting Machine a drafting instrument consisting of linked parts that perform the functions of a T-square, triangle, linear scale, and protractor. And lastly, a blueprint machine. It is a machine that develops and exposes a blueprint paper. A blueprint is a reproduction of a technical drawing or engineering drawing using a contact print process on light-sensitive sheets. And now, to test your understanding on the uses of the different hand tools and equipment, let us try to answer this quiz game. Identify what tool or equipment is introduced in each given statement. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. It is a type of paper specially made for drafting. Letter A. Drawing paper. Letter B. Bond paper, letter C, pad paper, or letter D, graphic paper. Very good! It's letter A, drawing paper. Number 2. This drawing instrument is used when drawing arcs and circles. Is it letter A, T square, letter B, protractor? Letter C, divider. Or letter D, compass. Very good! It's letter D, compass. Number 3. This tool is used to clean the dirt off the drawing and make changes and corrections. Is it letter A, sharpener? Is it letter B, eraser? Or letter C, pencil? Or letter D, divider. Good job! It's letter B, eraser. Number 4. It is a large, flat board on which you attach a drawing sheet to make a drawing. Letter A, computer set. Letter B, drafting table. Letter C, blueprint machine. Or letter D, drafting machine. 
It's letter B. Drafting table. Very good. Number 5. A tool used to determine graduations of degrees when measuring arcs, angles, and circles. Letter A, T-square. Letter B, protractor. Letter C, divider. Or letter D, compass. Great job! It's letter B, protractor. Very good! You guys are doing a great job. Now, let's see if we can classify the different tools based on their categories. Drag and drop each tool to its corresponding column. Awesome learners! Now, do you know any other hand tools or equipment used in technical drafting? If you do, feel free to use the comment section below. And that ends our lesson for today. See you next time for more fun and exciting video lessons. Again, this is Ms. Jubel and B. Santos, your TLE teacher from Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!